Earlier this week I did a video showing you how to block the camera and microphone access in the new Android 12 update. And we're still on Android 12 using this Google Pixel 4a. But in this video I'm going to show you how to both enable the new one-handed mode as well as how to use it. Now by default one-handed mode is likely going to be disabled. So we're going to need to go into the settings application, scroll down all the way until you see the system option, and then when we tap on that, you should see a gestures section right here. At least this is where the gestures section is at this time. This could change in the future, but we're just looking for the gestures settings area because in here we're going to see a one-handed mode option. Now again, by default, this is going to be disabled. So you're not going to have this gesture available to you until you enable it. And it shows you exactly how it's activated right here with a simple swipe down on the pill that we see at the bottom. So if we are wanting to activate the one-handed mode on Android 12 using this Google Pixel, we just need to swipe down on that pill and you can see the top of the screen is going to shrink down and almost look like it scrolls down to give us quicker access to the top. Now this implementation is a little bit different than other, other OEMs one-handed mode feature in the past, I've seen one-handed mode actually shrink the entire screen to just a reachable section of the display. But on Android 12, it's more like a scroll down of the screen because normally you're able to access the bottom half of the screen like normal. Many people will only activate one-handed mode in order to access the top area of the screen. So Google's implementation of one-handed mode is kind of clever, but it does take some time to get used to. And I also want to show you a couple of the settings in here. We have the ability to exit one-handed mode whenever we're switching apps. By default, this is set to on. So whenever we activate and whenever we want to switch apps, it's going to exit one-handed mode. And we also have a timeout setting. By default, this is set to eight seconds. We can set it to 12, four, or never. And what this is, is whenever we activate one-handed mode, Google will count the number of seconds since, it's been the, since you have last touched the screen. And in this case, if it's been eight seconds, it will exit one-handed mode. We, again, we can change this to four and it will switch out of one-handed mode quicker. But again, this only happens if we do not touch the screen. If we touch the screen, that four seconds is reset. So we can continue staying in one-handed mode as long as we are actually active on the screen. But as soon as we stop touching it, four seconds, eight seconds, or 12 seconds later, it will reset. And we can always set this to never if you want to prevent one-handed mode from being reset. So once activated, if we needed to access the upper section of the screen, we can enable one-handed mode and then access that area. And again, it is going to take some time getting used to. I know a lot of people are gonna see this and be like, all right, well, I want to access the bottom half of the screen, but we're not able to scroll up like normal. We need to exit one-handed mode in order to gain access to the lower half of the screen. Because again, we're able to reach the lower half of the screen normally. So we won't need one-handed mode enabled in those situations.
This change seems to be very divisive right now. I know a lot of people prefer one-handed mode this way. Some people, again, wish it would shrink the entire screen. But as of right now, this is Android 12's implementation of one-handed mode.